making friends my name is Joey Balistrieri welcome to my channel I finally got my magical mystery bead box for the month of July there was a little shipping mix up again this happened to me with another bead box last month but I got mine so I know that many of you already have this box and there's been a lot of unboxings on YouTube so I'm going to do a really quick overview I've already dove dove and dived into the box and it is a really exciting really clever theme jesse james beads such does such a great job with their themes and with their beads they are always so unique so this one is called summer festival and um it's like all just like <laughs> so uh, reminiscent of the psychedelic 60s and you know just like music and art and like all the things that creators can really love so um, this is a little bit before my time but the original Woodstock was back in 1969 and there are bead mixes that feature like a lot of the bands and a lot of the artists that performed in Woodstock which was um, really ended up taking place on a on a dairy farm about 40 miles outside of Woodstock Stock, so it's up in upstate New York um, but it is really cool how each of the bead mixes and strands in the in the box kind of are dedicated to the different artists and so many of them that performed in this like historical musical festival like 54 years ago now I think it was uh, were very little known back then but now they're just iconic so it's really nice to kind of honor them <laughs> with you know some jewelry art so our list here is uh, starting with the festival bead mix and I haven't actually opened that yet I'll just set my little list off to the side it looks amazing I love the color of the turquoise and the red and the green and I did notice that this box is a mix of gold and silver so let me just dump this out I'm gonna just scoot some of the bead strands it is absolutely a delicious box you guys and I see right away we got these ceramic beads in a beautiful green in um, on a bead strand that they had in a limited edition collection from Jesse James beads and I used both of mine I absolutely love these beads they are amazing little fluted ceramic beads and they have a nice large hole so you can pretty much do whatever you want to do fit whatever stringing material in there that you like and my eye is jumping to these oh my aren't these gorgeous little pink flower charms look how cool they are they're so clever a little bit different than the normal charm i love those and i have to tell you i'm going to grab for these because i just see red flowers i have a thing for pink and red i think pink and red is so beautiful together and i know people kind of think of that maybe for you know like in in the spring valentine's day and holidays and that kind of thing but for me it is just fresh and beautiful and really bright summer colors look at these flowers oh my goodness these are the most beautiful charms i think i have to have to have to have earrings out of these <laughs> so beautiful let's see what else. oh i see some cloisonne little egg shaped beads these are so pretty also summer colors like that little bit of pink is in there and white and green and red beautiful with that let's see oh even beautiful with that oh i see earrings in my future let's see there's some bead caps in here and some beautiful little scrolly leaves pick out the bead caps and these are cool oh my look at these little flower spacers they're like a flat little spacer bead but they're shaped like a flower so if you string these in between like a larger bead you won't really see the flower design let me grab a little piece of wire here you won't really see the flower design you would just see kind of that cool shaping on the edge put another bead here so it doesn't so much look like a flower when you do it that way but you can also put a jump ring through the middle of this and make this a little dangle or a little charm that is so cool and I love this shade of green and crystals are always so nice to have you can just do so much with them when you start designing and my my eye is going to these howlite 
turquoise dyed like puffy little coin beads. These are so gorgeous. I love that. And this is a beautiful crystal. It's pear shaped and we got quite a few of those pear shaped, but it has a nice thickness to it. And look at the faceting. It's faceted on both sides. I love, love, love these little crystals. And that is like a deep, rich, beautiful green, which, you know, it's like, it's like poetry for a music and art festival outdoors like that in the summer where everybody would be laying in the grass, would have their blankets like, and you know, you think about like the summer flowers and the summer sky and all of those colors, just really lovely. And then here's another kind of version of a coin bead. And this is like a really pale, opaque, like sky, like pale sky blue. And the faceting on these, goes around let me get my piece of wire back in here the faceting on these goes all the way around the outside and then the the flat part is just like glass really smooth that is such a cool bead sometimes i like to do like a spiral or some kind of a little wire embellishment on that flat side when i get a bead like this there's so much fun to work with and then there are some beautiful opaque Looks like they have actually quite a few of these have the Aurora Borealis finish on them. That one does, uh, maybe not that one, but this one for sure. So you just get so much sparkle and just they twinkle just even in my hand. Gorgeous, gorgeous bead mix. And then we got a few of these pretty little bead caps. Actually, there's a lot to work with, great quantities in this <laughs> bead mix so this is the festival bead mix kind of the metaphorical art and music festival i am in love with these flowers oh my goodness i actually love both of these how beautiful i'm thinking earrings i'm thinking of trying to attach them on top of each other somehow i don't know definitely something to play with i actually love them together so much that is beautiful. I don't want to move this out of the way because I'm still playing with it. <laughs> I already started designing. I really did. Um, I'm going to go down the list, but I'm dying to get to this. Um, so we got also a Fleetwood Mac sunflower chain, and it really does look like something Stevie Nicks would wear as a necklace or a chain belt. <laughs> it's so cool. It has a nice weight to it, and it just changes links a few times. Look at the little sunflower part of it. What a beautiful chain. I love that. That is so, it feels so good in your hand too. And then up next is the Jimi Hendrix Specialty Bead Mix. That's this little guy. I didn't open this one yet, but look at how inviting it is. <laughs> Let's see, let me just put it out here on the mat and see what's in here. Oh, I see some beautiful black, looks like um, large hole crystal beads. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. These are so beautiful. Look at that. They are the little um, crystals are like sewn around this silver disc. So you have like a really large hole spacer. I want to my I'm just actually grab this crystal and look how great the the crystals fit inside that. Let me turn it sideways so you can see. Look at that. These are so cool. It's like a little um, black crystal gear. And then there's some little lentil charms in like a coral color. These are beautiful. I love them with the holes at the top like that. That is so fun because you can do so much. You can either put a jump ring on that or you can put your wire through and draw it up. You can also use like soft flex bead stringing material and pull it up and make a little loop to kind of cradle those in there. They're just gorgeous. I love them. I love enamel and these just, they feel so good too. I always wish we had feel-o-vision when I'm unboxing because sometimes I feel like, um, what I'm getting, I'm trying to share what I'm getting with you, like the, you know, the, um, the senses, but sometimes I worry the camera doesn't do it justice. And these are gorgeous. These go um, really right in lockstep with the cloisonne. They're like little enamel bead caps. So they really do look like little summer flowers. And look at these little enamel teardrops 
Isn't that gorgeous? This is so fun. What a fun mix with oodles and oodles of design possibilities. I'm just like, I, I'm playing. I'm already just playing in the mix. I'm crazy about these. These are so gorgeous. Looks like a little two or three millimeter crystal and it's just like um, they move a little bit but they're like sewn around the edge of that little ring, that little silver ring. What a cool spacer bead. And there is, I'm, I'm already see my eye is going to like the black ground on these little beads that are coming up. I'm so excited when I get a box like this that I find myself jumping all over the place because I just want to look at everything. <laughs> so there's that one. And then we got, um, this is probably my, I don't know, this is probably my favorite thing in the box. I guess I can say that. Um, this is called The Doors. It's a boho bead strand. Look at this, you guys. I mean, it's the shape of a door. I guess that's the, <laughs> I guess that's the idea. But um, this is a seven inch bead strand that has enamel boho style beads and they have like brass and gold accents how beautiful there's a little coin bead in here i love these little cylindrical brass and turquoise beads and these spacers are so cool they look almost like i don't know like a ship's wheel or even a, a funky like flower or a gear they are so cool very very highly textured and look how gorgeous like the red crystals look with the turquoise and the brass I love that's probably my favorite thing in the box I'm dying over this bead that is so gorgeous and then we got the rolling stones get it chip beads stones <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the rolling stones turquoise chips and we got a whole little cylinder tube full look at these aren't they beautiful I love chip beads and this is so very boho, so very like summer, you know, summer vibes. I just love them. Each one is different. And this is like a nice little size of chip too. There's some really tiny ones in there. They are so much fun to play with. It gives you so much texture and dimension. And again, I really, really love the turquoise with the red and the green. What a pretty color combination. And then we got this, which is another one of my favorite things in this box. This is called the Grateful Dead Rose Pendant. And I think this is definitely going to make it into one of my projects. I was already playing with it, with how I want to connect it with wire and beads. And I just love it. It's got a little bit of weight to it but it is absolutely stunning. I love the way the, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of depth, a lot of um, thickness to the profile of this, can you see? But, um, but the holes are just really well done and really easy to turn this into a connector. I cannot wait to play with that. That is just so, I don't wanna put it down. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> and then there is the Janis Joplin beaded chain. And this is probably my, another favorite. I, this is just gorgeous. It's really, really tiny. These are like little two millimeter, little faceted turquoise beads. And each one is, a, it's a beaded chain or a rosary chain, but each one is wire wrapped so and connected to the next it is just absolutely beautiful and there's a nice long length of this too i really really love that and then there's a bob dylan magnetic clasp pair this is another favorite so i guess i'm on my fourth favorite well the the fifth when you <laughs> well i don't know it's all my favorite i love it look how cool these are they have a really like art deco design to them and they mix silver and black and gold, like all the classic neutral colors that go with everything. And they're a really nice, strong magnet. And look at them. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love them. And there are two of them. So, you know, a bracelet and a necklace, that would be absolutely gorgeous. I love these. These are so unique. I just love these. I've already been playing with them. And then we also got a Woodstock custom printed shell beads and they really do look like the psychedelic 60s. So these are shell, but they are custom printed with all the colors and look how gorgeous it is with the bead mix. 
it has the reds and the turquoise and the greens and the blacks and like all the crazy colors of a summer festival very boho very bright very you know kind of um i don't know i love it so so pretty these are going to be so much fun to work with looks like there looks like the printing is the same on both sides but they are so cool so um, you could do earrings with these because you have two kind of rectangle shapes and two circle shapes or i was even looking at this to create a bracelet and with some of the these beads in between and that'd be a gorgeous bracelet so so many possibilities this is the queen silver metal bead strand so you know like i don't know when i looked at this i just thought about all the fancy instruments and guitars and the way musicians love to have you know beautiful scroll work and things on their guitars and um, I have a friend in Italy who collects guitars and some of them are absolutely almost an art sculpture in them. So when I saw this little bead strand, that's what I thought. I just thought about how beautiful musical instruments can be. So I'm sorry, I almost left that one out. That's a, a, another one of my favorites. It's absolutely beautiful. This little filigree oval is gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to clean up my mat and kind of play a little bit and I will be back. <laughs> I was trying to put these beads away and kind of clean up my mat and pull out the things for the necklace design that I have in mind, but sometimes beads just won't let you put them away, and I am loving these enameled flowers. They are so gorgeous, and I love them together. So when I was cleaning up, I actually started playing with how to connect them, and I think I have an idea. So I am going to start with two pieces of wire that are fairly short short like maybe half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch honestly I didn't measure but I do want them both to be the same and because I'm making earrings and I need all the loops to be consistent and I also need to have a good size loop for this little charm um, because I have to do two connections here I'm going to use my two and a quarter millimeter one step looper and um, I'm going to take this little piece of wire and just put it in the tool and just place it slightly past the back jaw. That's the part of the tool that will make a clean blunt cut for you. So you can skip that step with your pliers if you're using this tool. And then I'm just gonna pull this wire down so that I can see that it is centered on the loop and it's not straight. So I'm gonna grab my, my nylon jaw pliers and while it's in the tool and I have a good grip on it that way, just make sure that it's straight. And when I take it out, I have this little beginning of a component and I'll do the exact whoops if I can hold on to it I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side just put my my piece of wire past that back jaw let it make that cut and repeat 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 okay so now I have the start of my of my earrings and now I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite end of both of these just put the wire in and let it make that cut put the wire in a little wonky on this one but that's okay I can straighten it Okay, I'm not going to worry about the loops not being closed because I'm about to open them anyway. Sometimes the way that you put the wire in this tool will, will kind of give you that situation, but um, it's a simple loop and they're meant to be open and closed anyway, so I don't worry about it. It's just the nature of the tool. Okay, so now I have two little earring components that are exactly the same and I am going to open them and attach. I'm going to attach my, my pink flower and so the orientation really matters because this is a little bit of a strange connecting situation. <laughs> Get this loop closed and I will show you. Make sure it's closed really well. It's um, This is such a beautiful, unique charm, but the loop on it is quite 
quite different, differently placed than a normal charm, so you just have to get your pliers in there. And so it's going to hang like that. Let me get my fingers out of the way. It's going to hang like that, and I'm going to come down here to this one, and this the way that you face the flower will matter, but I'm going to open this bottom loop that I made and add the red flower. The, the red flower has a little bit of thickness to the loop, so that's why I did the two and a quarter loop here, and you have to still open it a little bit wider than normal to fit it, but it's really great. And I'm also doing this so that my closure on this, both of them, is facing the back. So now I have one flower stacked right above the other, and I could be done there, but I'm going to take another little piece of wire and I'm going to do that same thing, put it past the back jaw of the plier and get a smaller simple loop in there. Get this nice and straight while it's in the tool. And I am going to open this loop and this is why I wanted the two and a quarter. I'm gonna attach it right here to the same loop that's holding the pink flower facing forward. And just get my plier in there and close it really well. Okay, let's see if I did it. It's not terrible, but I have to fuss with my jewelry. It's just me. I like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to making jewelry. And then I cut open the um, doors bead strand that I love so much. And there were four of these red crystals. And then I took those beautiful little um, flower spacers from the uh, festival bead mix. So as I said, I was kind of cutting things up and putting away what was not going to go into my necklace project, and I just couldn't help myself. I really wanted to make this pair of earrings. <laughs> so now I have this gorgeous little alternating pink and red flower stack, and now I'm going to do one final simple loop, but I want this loop to be going this way, not front to back. I want it to be going like parallel with my mat. So I'm gonna turn it, turn it this way. Can you see? I get my fingers out of the way. I'm gonna turn it this way. And if you don't get this right, like your orientation, you can always take two pliers and make an adjustment. But if you know what you're doing, you might as well do it, you know, do it right to begin with. So now this time with the one step looper, and I am gonna go back to the one and a half millimeter, I'm gonna use that guide hole in the back of the tool and I'm gonna gently close it and now I can have a look to see that this loop is going in the direction that I want it to. Let's see if it is. Did I get it right? No, I need to turn it. I need to turn it so. There. Okay, and now I'm just gonna pull this. This is a crystal bead. So I'm just gonna pull it back off that back jaw just a little bit. It's a little bit too much. Just so there's no pressure. And let it make that cut. And then before I close it all the way, just watching to make sure I'm not harming that crystal, just going to do that same thing. Just pull it out of the way. And I got my final simple loop. And now I can make sure everything is closed and check my orientation. And it looks like I did get this slightly askew, but that's totally okay because I um, can take two pliers and just fix it just like that. And I do want to tidy this loop up a little bit. Okay, and that little earring is done. And if you know me at all, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I do not add ear wires to every earring that I made, that I make. I keep my gold filled interchangeable lever back earrings right in my jewelry box and there's this little like groove in them and let's see it has to face front nope wrong 
the, this one is a little you have to pay attention because the flowers you want the flowers to be facing forward but that's all you do is thread them right on and then the flowers are moving and dangly but they're kind of stacked right on top of each other um, I just absolutely love this I could not help myself I wanted pink and red flower earrings it is like the proverbial flower child from the psychedelic 60s but I absolutely love them I think they're so beautiful I mean I will wear these year-round but I just think they're absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to repeat that exact same thing on this other earring um, the first component is already made so I can go ahead and attach in the same way my second earring is done just that fast it looks like I got my loops lined up a little bit better oh my this is so cute <laughs> I love these they are fast and fun and super easy look how adorable those are so my original intention was to do a fast unboxing and then clean up and come back with a necklace video and that is what i will do so if you are interested in the jesse james magical mystery bead box i will put a link in the description box i do have a discount code but it's also good for anything on the website so if you just want to buy a box one off or if you want to just go on and buy some beads it's a really exciting beautiful website so check the description box under this video for that discount code and um, also pay attention to the Jesse James um, little um, arrangement that they have for the box because the longer that you sign up for the monthly subscription the lower the price becomes and so if you really like this box and it's something that you want to work with regularly if you know that you're going to you sign up for a little bit longer and the price can be really really reasonable so anyway just a little bit of information I know some people don't always know that and I hope Hope you'll subscribe to my channel and tap the bell notification so that when I do an unboxing I always come back with a video or two sometimes even more if I'm inspired by the beads and that way you won't miss that and um, a thumbs up is really appreciated it really helps support my work so I will be back with another video and I thank you so much for watching I hope you're all safe and well and having fun on your beading mats child jewelry making friends